Hi guys, I'm very excited to film this video. The other week I was contacted by the very nice people over at The Book People, which is an independent online book retailer, and they asked me if I would like to pick a couple of books from their bestsellers sections and review them for you guys. And of course I said yes because I was very excited to publicise an online bookstore that had excellent prices but was not owned by Amazon. I know it's difficult if you don't have a lot of money and you want to get your books at good prices. I think we can all feel sometimes that Amazon dominates the book market especially if you need to order your books online but I can assure you that the book people have an excellent selection of books and on top of that some really great prices. Let me show you the books that they sent me. First things first, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I have just read and completed this for the Booktubeathon so I will have a review up for this very shortly. I missed out on picking up this book or receiving this book when the initial hype flared up. I don't know, I can't remember whether it was dissertation or exams, but there was something going on that made me too busy to get involved. But I decided when I saw it on their website to take this opportunity to find out what the hype was all about. And if you're not familiar, this is a young adult mystery which follows a teenage girl called Cadence who spends every summer with her rich family on their private island and one year something mysterious and tragic happens that the reader is unaware of and you find out as the book goes on what really happened that summer. They also sent me Paper Towns by John Green. I've only read two John Green books, Looking for Alaska and The Fault in Our Stars, but I did really enjoy both of them and I'm excited to get to try another one of his books. I hope the love that it receives translates into my own reading experience. I believe it's about a young boy whose long-time crush goes missing after they spend an exciting night together. Then a book that's been on my wish list for quite a while and that is More Than This by Patrick Ness and it is the gorgeous hardback edition. I'm not entirely sure what this book is about, it's one of those books that despite having heard a lot about mystery still surrounds it. All I know is that it opens with a boy who is drowning or has drowned but then wakes up in a strange new place and we're not sure if he is alive or dead. And last but certainly not least the Penguin Book of Scottish Short Stories. I thought this was just a really nice edition of this book. It's actually been around for quite some time. It was first published in 1970 and this is a reissue that they did in 2011. There is also the Penguin Book of Irish Short Stories and the Penguin Book of Welsh Short Stories and English Short Stories. Like I said, it was originally published in 1970, so none of those stories are new or by new authors. There are some really classic, famous Scottish authors in this collection though, including Muriel Spark, who wrote The Pride of Miss Jean Brodie, which I've read, Lewis Grassic Gibbon, who wrote Sunset Song, another one that I've read. But in saying that, I've definitely not read the majority of the authors in this book, so I'm really excited to be exposed to some more Scottish authors and maybe I will pick up some of their novels once I've read their short stories. Anyway, those are all the books that the book people kindly sent me, so expect reviews of all of those, starting with We Were Liars. Definitely go and check out the website because like I said, there's some amazing prices. In particular, some of their book collections and series are at ridiculously low prices. I'm pretty sure the entire Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series is under £10, if not definitely under 20 as well as 16 vintage classics editions of Charles Dickens' works, another one that's under £20, and I think a collection of 15 of Roald Dahl's children's stories, and most importantly, The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Pellini, hardbacks, I'm pretty sure is around £20 for all four books, and I may have to buy them, because I only actually own copies of the first two, and those are pretty beat up. The book people also have a really excellent booktube channel, so I will link that below as well. In the meantime, happy reading, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye, guys!